Right, okay. Here is my video explaining how I go about comping tracks, uh, especially vocals for myself. Uh, but of course you can use this method to do any track you want really. I use a dedicated screen set and if you look amongst my other videos you'll find a video on how to set that up and I keep that on screen set 10. So I'm just going to press 0, get across there. So you can see the advantage of this is you can just jump between tracks quite easily uh, by clicking at the bottom here and I've got a nice full screen view at the top here for the actual work. What you can't see across on my uh, second monitor is I actually have the inspector set up there so uh, I can get a bit more info if I do need it for the tracks but anyway a couple of things to set up first bring up the console view uh, the uh, control bar by pressing C and you'll see that I have my screen set uh, snap to set to ticks now it is possible to set individual uh, snap values per screen set but you do need to set a variable first and that's called include snap in the screen set there it is set that to one in your any file that's done by preferences and you will be able to have different snap to settings for each individual screen set which you may or may not find useful but I certainly use that anyway uh, so that's the first thing and the second thing let's get rid of the control bar uh, second thing that I do is bring up the preferences for snap and nudge and just make sure that audio zero crossings is checked and that's handy if we're going to split in the middle of a of a wave uh, form so make sure that we uh, actually make the cut or make the, the 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 mute on a zero crossing okay so that's the setup done and as you can see I've got my layers of various vocals here uh, I use a control surface to navigate with so you may see lots of whirling around here and there but uh, you can do this obviously via the mouse as well so the first thing I'm going to do and I'm doing this as a sales screen on the inspector is I'm actually going to solo the whole vocal track now you may or may not like to use uh, the dim solo mode where you can actually hear some of the backing tracks I sometimes do sometimes don't just once depends really I want to hear it in context but obviously that's available as well and the first thing I do is set up a loop over a phrase. So to do that, as I say, I use a control surface. So uh, in case you wonder what's going on there, but that's a loop set up there. I believe you can do that by just dragging in the timeline. Uh, and then, yeah, set loop points. So you can do that with mouse as well. You'll see there as well, Something else that I uh, I use, I use uh, click lock, uh, which is set a Windows thing, set on the mouse preferences. And you'll see why I use that in a little while. It is quite awkward if you're not used to it. I've been using it for so long, I actually find it more awkward on computers without it now. Uh, but I find it very useful, as you'll see, for soloing out the various layers as we go along. So anyway, we set up a loop. I've got one of the layers solo, and I've got the track soloed. Uh, so I'm just going to press play a tiny island and I've got in the dim sun. solo running there so I'm going to switch that off a tiny island and there we have the it sun. my vocal buzzing away in the background now this is uh, where click block is going to come in handy because as you see if I click and hold the solo and I'm now releasing the left mouse button click lock will now be active and as I've you notice as I roll over the various layers it automatically solos that one layer and that's why I like using it it's a very very quick way of going between the layers you don't have to be on the solo buttons which I find awkward sometimes anyway I'm going to change to the mute tool which I'm going to do by uh, pressing F10 twice and I'm also going to turn on uh, the aim assist there so as you can see I'm now got the top layer soloed I'm gonna have a quick listen through and once you've decided which uh, clip you're happy with the way to easiest way to mute the one you want is to hold the control key click hold and drag and as you can see 
that's now highlighted that that's the only one there and muted the rest so once we've done that the uh, next phase is to drag the loop forward to the next phrase and wait for that to catch up and there we go you can see it's playing through there now and so again activate click lock have a listen through to see which one I prefer there and so I want to take that one again hold control key down click and drag and there we go that's taken it out and uh, you just stop the playback and that's how I go through my tracks comping as you can see it's a very quick way of selecting them out uh, once that's finished I then unselect the solo and then either bounce the clip or bounce the tracks uh, depending on whether I want to keep the originals or not I usually bounce to a track so I can always come back to this and revisit it if I'm not happy with the result anyway I hope that helps you out thanks <laughs>